Hello everyone. Zoho Inventory is an inventory management software for growing businesses. It can help you to increase your sales and keep track of every unit with powerful stock management, order fulfillment and inventory control software. And today I'm going to guide you through the main features of Zoho Inventory and see what you can automate with this software. And we will start from the free demo that you can get on Zoho website and try this software completely for free for 14 days. So first of all, you can see your organization details and add wet details. You can choose whether you use wet or no and add the registration date and the wet registration number. And some other taxes are also available, for example, for construction industry. Then you can also configure your inventory and add the first item to your inventory. It can be either a good or a service. You can add the name, the SQE, the unit and different dimensions that can be weight or the size of your good. You can also add images to find the goods much more easier. And you can, of course, add much more information about the goods or services, for example, the manufacturer or the brand of it, the MPN, ISBN, the UPC, the EAN, and also the sales information, for example, the sailings price and account of it and the cost price and account of it. You can also add descriptions to both of this purchase and sales information. You can also choose whether to track inventory for this item or no, and you cannot enable or disable inventory tracking once there's transaction made with this item. Now we can press save and we can see our first item in the inventory, which we call the keyboard, and we can see all of the information about it and also reports of the sales of this item. And now let's move on to another really useful feature of Zoho Inventory is creating item groups. You can create item groups, the item composite items from different groups and also price lists so you can manage your inventory much more efficiently. And you can also create inventory adjustments that can either be the quantity or value adjustments. There is a reference number, the date, the account and the reason for adjustment. For example, the stolen goods, damaged goods, and other stuff that can, again, help you manage the inventory much more efficiently. And now let's move on to the dashboard. Here you can see the generalized analytics of your inventory and see the sales, for example, of the items. And also you can easily create any item, customer, invoice, shipment, purchase order, or anything else here from the dashboard. So let's create a new customer. It can be either a business or an individual, and you can write down all of the personal info of the client, the work phone, the email address, and also add address details, the billing address, and the shipping address of your client. And when you save it, you can see all of the personal information of your client, which is really useful. And now let's create a new sales order. First of all, you should enter the client's name and also the sales order number and sales order date. And you can also choose the payment terms, for example, due on receipt or due to the end of the month and other options are available. You can choose the delivery method and salesperson that will be responsible for this sales order. And now you can choose the item that this customer has purchased and also set up a discount that can be either in pounds, for example, the currency that we chose or in the percentage. And you can also add the shipping charges and also customer notes if you need them. And now we can save and send this sales order via email to our client so he can approve it or see the items that he chose. And now let's create a package. We will mark this item as delivered and also sign in the date and the time when it was delivered. And we now can see the shipment order and we can go to shipments and see it shipped in that menu item. And after that, we can also create an invoice for it because we haven't delivered uh, actually any products. And we can also set up the transaction preferences for example, whether we give discounts or no and any additional charges that you would like to add. And we can also save it and continue and type in all of the data that we need to create an invoice for our customer. 
Again, we can put on the discount and shipping charges in the invoice. And after we save it and send it, we can see this invoice among all other invoices in this menu item. And there's also two other useful modules such as payment received and sales returns for the items that have been returned by your clients. We forgot about the module packages, so let's create one from the sales order and you can either auto-generate the package number or write it down manually. And in Kanban view of packages, you can see all of the packages that are not shipped, shipped packages and delivered packages. You can change the status of it by shipping it, shipping it manually or via courier. So we have already talked about two main modules of Zoho Inventory, which are inventory and sales modules. And the last module of Zoho Inventory is purchases, which include vendors, expenses, purchase orders and purchase receipts, bills, payments made and vendor credits. So here you can store all of the info about the purchases that you have made and the vendors that ship the products for you to sell. Really important feature of Zoho Inventory is integrations with other developers apps. For example, Shopify, Zoho Commerce, shipping integrations with different platforms like DHL and Deutsche Post and FedEx and big logistics companies that can help you to ship your goods and products to your clients. There's also e-commerce integrations, the EDI integration, sales and marketing integrations with other, for example, CRM systems, accounting integrations, integrations with marketplaces such as Amazon, eBay, Etsy, also payment getaways such as Stripe, Razorpay, which also integrate with PayPal and other leading payment methods. And now let's go to settings of Zoho Inventory. It is a really customizable app. So let's see what you can change and edit in the settings. For example, you can assign different roles and add different roles with different permissions for different actions that your employees can take in Zoho Inventories. You can also add multi warehouses that can help you to manage your goods and services much better. You can also add branches. And again, you can choose your preferences. For example, select the modules that you would like to enable, select preferences of PDF attachments, discounts, additional charges, and also billable uh, bills and expenses. Also, you can add branding details, for example, the organization logo and themes. You can add customers and vendors fields to the modules and also change the preferences about approvals and users. Also, you can add the transaction number series, the client portal and vendors portal. And again, you can fully customize different modules, for example, customize the fields in items module and also create custom buttons and create new fields. And the same goes for the units of measurements and inventory adjustments and other customizations in other modules such as sales orders, packages, shipments, invoices, payments received and credit notes. Again, you can look through different settings of these modules and you can change them and customize according to your needs. You can also customize the bills, the payments made, the purchase orders, and you can also create a custom module if you need it. It's a new function of Soho Inventory, which can be really useful for some entrepreneurs. You can also change the currencies and add other currencies if you need them. And again, view the taxes, settings, for example, the VAT or construction industry scheme settings. You can also customize the expense categories. You can delete some categories that you don't need or add ones that you need and that are not on Zoho Inventory. You can also add reporting tags and also choose different templates for different documents in Zoho Inventory. For example, for invoices, as you can see, the library of different templates is huge and you can choose a template from already made ones or create your own template for the document that you need. There's also settings for email sending. You can set up all of the invoice notifications, email insights, the user's invites, the client's portal invitations and 
all of the other settings for the emails and also the reminders. You can set up the reminders for different actions and you can automate different, different processes of the inventory management. Other settings of Zoho Inventory include the web tabs and developer space with APIs and applications and modules and also online payments and different ways for online payments. And of course, you can manage all of the integrations that are already talked about. If we're talking about the pricing, there's a completely free version and also a lot of different pricing plans that you can choose depending on your business needs. And in conclusion, Zoho Inventory is one of the best inventory management softwares that is on the market. It can help you to automate your entire sales process from creating sales orders and shipping the products to tracking the delivery status and sending invoices to your customers. And it can help you to manage everything from one single place. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, click the notification button so you don't miss any useful information that we share here.